This is why, folks, in the world we're living in today, I got to tell you guys, you cannot care, bro. You cannot care. You have people nowadays playing with your emotions, playing with your mental health, playing snakes and ladders and rabbits and bunnies and squirrels. Like, I don't know. Like, bro, people be playing hella games today, man. The world has become like a mosh pit of nerds. Like, that's what it's like. And this is why you can't care. So let's say you're dealing with this person and then you guys go no contact or whatever, or they play their game and ghost you and just go off into the sunset and post on social media and make it look like they're just living this outlandish life and doing all this stuff, right? You guys know what these narcs are hoping for during this period of no contact. And it's wild. It is wild, and this is why I can't care. They are hoping you are suffering. They are hoping you are longing for a connection with them. They hope you're thinking about them every second of every single day. They want you to suffer. They want as many supply sources as possible to be thinking about them, to suffer over them as much as possible, because this empowers them. It's wild. It brings a smile to their crooked face. It, it just makes them so happy that, that you long for them when they just treat you like trash. That's the reality, bro. And it's mainly women today who's playing that kind of a game. That's some psychopathic shit. No guys are sitting around wanting to do those things. We don't give a damn. Women do, though. They love to feel wanted, bro. They love to feel desired. They love to play with many men's emotions. They love to be able to do all that kind of stuff with no consequences. They just love that so many men want them and makes them feel so good. Oh, my God. That, 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 it's just what it is. And I don't even mean to pick on them. It's just the truth. I don't know any guys who, who does those things, who wants to do those things. I don't. But there's many women that there's proof they have done it. Proof. And like I said, it's just a mosh pit today, man. Like, <laughs> they hope you're suffering for them. Over them. Longing for them, wanting to talk to them. You're just sitting there, just waiting for them to respond, waiting for you to talk to them. It's no mercy, bruh. No mercy. No mercy. No mercy. Can't care. Do your thing. Do what benefits you. Don't get yourself in sticky situations. Don't get yourself trapped in one of these narcs cycles. Once you realize that these people are playing hella games and doing all this stuff, that's a wrath. Cut the snake's head off. Carry on. Because they want to try to get you attached. They want to try to get you thinking about them. They want to try to do all this sorts of stuff. All to just vanish to try to make you suffer. See who cares about them the most. See who they can trap. It's all a trap, bro. At the end of the day, they might be attracted to you when they're doing these things, but they're trying to see who cares because if you don't care, they're insecure. They have to push you. They, they can't just naturally talk to you and you guys build a healthy relationship because they're not healthy people. They have to play all these games. Let's see how much he cares. Let's do this so to see what reaction he gives me when, whenever I do this and all this kind of stupid shit. To see how much you care. To see, can I control this person? And if they can't control you, guess what? They're probably going to try to get the last laugh on you to try to ghost you and just veer off and try to control other people and all this stuff. And these are the same people. These are the same females who claim, oh, I had a past controlling partner and all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. 
these same females is gonna try to control you. So who was the problem here? I guarantee you that past person they dated that they said is so controlling, I guarantee you, bro, that was a good dude. I guarantee it. It is every time. Every time. That's a crazy female that you're talking to, my friend. Crazy. What you're going to come to realize is they're trying to control you. They can't form or have a healthy bond. They're so egotistical, so narcissistic, so, so stuck in their way. They can't just talk. Anything you say to them, anything real you say just offends them. Just... It's insane. And this is why you can't care. This is why you don't deal with these individuals. But there's nothing you can do at first if you're talking to a new person because you don't know they're that person just yet. But you have to let time go on. And as soon as you know they're that kind of person, <laughs> the F with them. Also, something else. Let's talk about getting in their head because you absolutely can. When you're that guy that they cannot control and you just don't care that much because you know your worth, you're not going to start to care about a person who's playing games with you, bro. That's stupid. When you're that guy that does not emotionally involve himself in this situation and you don't let this female run this kind of game on yourself, she still might back off and stop talking to you, but you're in her head rent free. You're the guy she cannot control. You're the guy that is more valuable than her. And she knows this deep down. She ain't going to say it. But it's the truth. Every single person who's trying to control you and everything else, just understand, guys, that your value is significantly higher. I don't care which gender is doing this. Your value is higher than the person who's trying to control you, who's trying to play games with you, your value is higher, far higher. You care less, you're more focused on your own life. But these females is going to try to control you. I'm sorry for making this about females, but bro, you just, it's all you see nowadays. It's all you see. And I'm not saying every woman's like this, but whenever it does happen, it's typically females that do that kind of stuff. It just is. <laughs> like, you just don't see guys playing that game. Guys, if they're going to be narcissistic or do something else, it's not that. It's something different. Women play dirty, bro. Dirty. Dirty, 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 dirty. They play real dirty. Bro, they can fake their emotions. They can fake that they're so on board with you and stuff like this and sell you that dream. And it feels so real. It feels believable. It looks believable. And then as a little more time goes on, you start to see the true beast you're dealing with in that woman. You're starting to see it. And it unfolds and it unravels itself. But I'm telling you guys full well. You guys are no contact with the narc because they probably ghost at you and try to push you away and, and play that dumb power game. They're thinking about you every single day and what they're thinking. Is he thinking about me? Is he longing for me? I hope he is. I hope he's thinking about me. I just hope so. And if I don't, if I feel like he's not, I'm going to play a game right now. I'm going to play a game and try to make him think about me. I'm going to do it because that's what I want to do. I want to control him. I don't want him to be at peace of mind. Bro, I'm telling you full well, these individuals are not healthy. 
They are not healthy. Red flags, run for your life. Run for the hills. Get out of there. Quick. And also any female or anything else like that that's trying to get you in these arguments, these debates, and it's just nonsense. It's like, what is going on right now? <laughs> get out of there. Get out of there, bro. I've had women before. They pretended to be traditional and caring and kind and everything else, and they ended up being that type of a female. Like, it's wild. It's wild. Another reason why you can't care. You can never think, oh, you, you know this girl now. You're talking to her. Things are going good. Okay, I think I know this girl now. You don't know her, my guy. <laughs> don't ever think you know a female. Don't ever think it. Because you don't. You never will. They say things to get their way. They say things to favor themselves. That is what they do. That is what they do. They will do anything, bro, to get their way. And I mean anything. Another reason you cannot care. You just can't. It's the people who care the least is the people that are the safest, in my opinion. They have a nice life. They don't need nobody. They're not trying to force things with, with, with you or trying to play these games to, to do something. It's the trippy individuals that has this agenda that you have to watch out for. It's not the people who's at peace. It's not the people who just don't really care. They're the safest people alive to be around, to date, to have a, friend, a friendship with or anything. They're not needy. They're not trying. They don't have this agenda to play you in some kind of a way. They're good regardless. They will walk away from you. It don't matter. But bro, these narcs are different beasts. It's not like that with them. They're not secure enough to do that. Their minds, bro, are mangled. It's corrupt. They feel they're just like that evil genius and they they're, they're, they just they're just thinking and plotting and planning some sort of a way to trap yourself. And it'd be most of these females today, bro. They're just thinking, how can I do this? Let me act really nice one day and the next day, I'm just gonna give it to him. I'm gonna lower his vibe. I'm gonna be outrageous. I'm gonna say things to get in his head. I'm going to tell him he should go die or something like that. Bro, I've had this stuff happen to me before. Like, ridiculous. Ridiculous shit. I've never had that type of behavior from a man in my life. Ever. No past friend has ever done me like that. Like, they're a different breed, bro. They're evil witches of the West. You have to be careful. Never think you, you, you starting to know a female, bro. If she's acting good or anything. Just wait. Just give it time. 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 Because you will see. You'll see exactly what I'm saying is the truth. And you just got to hope to God at one point you do land across a female who can keep it together. <laughs> you just got to hope. But it's damn near impossible. It's like... I've been in these situations so much. Consistency with women kills everything, bro. Kills everything. It always seems all right at first when you first start talking to some girl. It all seems right. Every effing time. Almost every time. Things feel right. And then the time comes. You start to see, and it's not that there's, 
it's, it's not that they had this emotional day. It's not that they had this bad day or, or, or something like this, bro. They turn into the people they actually are. The witches they are. That's not her being emotional. I know what it's like to deal with a half normal female. Yeah, half normal. That gets emotional at times. This shit's completely different. Completely. Like, it's games on a whole other level, man. A whole other level. You can't anticipate what's coming next. But just understand, bro. You can never think that you have someone genuine on your hands when you're dealing with these females. You never can. And all you can do is hope that one day you meet one that can keep it together even a little bit. That That's, that, that's down to listen to you. To just, she lets go. She lets you be. That's the answer, bro. I don't care even if a female like that gets emotional at times and does some stupid shit at times. Just let go. Stop trying to play me so much. Stop trying to play these games to test me and, and all this other stuff. Like, it's too much. It's just too much. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. They just take it too far. A little bit of test, it's going to happen. It's all right. They take it too far, bro. They take it too far. To the point where you stop feeling like yourself. You stop feeling like a human damn near. You just, you start to lose your identity slowly. And that's what happens when you get entangled with these narcs. And, and you start to form a connection or a bond. Thinking that they're a normal person because they're not. They slowly suck you into that into their frame of torture. And by the time you start to catch on that this person's not right, it's too late. It's oftentimes too late once the narcissist does what they do, their abuse cycle. Like, you, you, bro, there's some, bro, something's just off with those individuals. Like, you just know it. I even told a person that I talked to fairly recently this year, near the start of the year, the second day into talking, I told him straight up, something's off. Something ain't right. Something's off. You just know it. Like it doesn't feel right at all. They're trying to do something to me. I don't know exactly what yet, but they're trying to do something to me and... They try to just form this control over your life and this dominance over your life and that empowers them. Instead of them letting you be who you are, they feel the need to control who you are and how you move and how you do certain things and all this other stuff. And they're so focused on you and trying to make you be something that you're not. They can't let you be a human because they're not a human. They're a narc. They probably have BPD. They probably are a psychopath. And that's what's on your hands. I have dealt with psychopaths, bro. I'm telling you. And there's some hot psychopaths out there. <laughs> Those are the most dangerous ones. You got to be careful. You can't let them seduce you in. They can't, you can't let them suck you in. I've had some of them try to hit me with... with S3X before and it didn't work they were hoping it was going to work try to give me the best night ever it just didn't work I knew this person was crazy bro I knew this person was crazy and I'm telling you man when their games don't work on you you're the worst person on earth you're the worst human alive and you make them feel so bad about themselves. Ah, because they couldn't control you. Ah, that's so bad. <laughs> if you don't have experience with this stuff, prepare yourself because one day it might happen to you.
it might happen. It might come. Your day might come. And it's going to catch you off guard. I've been caught off guard too many times. You cannot play me. I extend things, bro. I don't care what female I'm dealing with. I extend things. And I'm going to start to get to know who this person is fully. You're not gonna you're not gonna fool me. You're not gonna trick me. You're not gonna get me in your little web. You're not gonna get you're not gonna trap me. It's not gonna happen. So you might as well go pick some other victim and may, yeah, turn them into a victim, into one of your victims. Because you're it, it's not happening with me. This is why you guys cannot care, bro. I don't care who you're dealing with, you cannot care. And that's the video for today. This is what the narcs or the psychopaths hope for during no contact. That you're suffering. That you're longing for them. That your subconscious is thinking about them 24-7. That's what they hope. And if you're in that situation, you're currently losing. So get very busy in life, folks. Get very busy in life. Very busy. Because you're going to come out of that slump. That's exactly when they're going to start to feel energetically that they don't have you like that no more. They might try you again. Don't let it happen. Get the hell out of there.